Hello there. Welcome to another talk. Uh, my talks are all meditations, you know, so it's another talk, it's another meditation. And uh, this one is called The Akashic Records Is. Now, you know, what is the Akashic Records? Well, you know, all around us uh, is everything else. And that everything else is actually you at the same time. There's actually a meditation that exists where you actually look around you and you feel that you're oneness with, with all. I don't know what it's called, but it's a time I found it out a while ago on the internet. Uh, wasn't looking for it. But, uh, and so, when, when you look into something, or you look at someone, you have, you, you, you feel, you understand them, or you have insight into something, that is the Akashic record you're tapping into, you see, and that's how we get these moments of, of inspiration. It's actually you being told something from the Akashic Records. You see? And it's to help you. Because ultimately the end goal is pleasure and bliss. But there's a there's a there's a there's a pathway to to get in there, you see. We descended from heaven For the simple reason of um, ascending back there. The point of coming here is is is, is so is so that we uh, go through hard times, turmoil, and so that that we have understanding when we start the spiritual awakening process. And then we start to get understanding and then we are starting to become happy as we're ascending. But the point of the sadness was so that you have deeper understanding, right? Because all comes from the same source. Now this source, you could say, is the Akashic Records, yes. But each different person that is doing something different is adding to that Akashic Records. But the most astonishing thing about this, and you'll find it hard to get your head around it, I, ha I certainly have. And this all came from my awakening, this knowledge, just under 10 years ago. The most astonishing thing is that we're going there, but we've already been there. See, I don't understand that fully. But all things have to come from nothingness, as I've said before. Nothingness is the source, like Alex Jones says, that before that God doesn't even know where he came from. And that's true. Because nothingness is the source. Atheists are right when they, when they say everything came from nothing. But they're not right when they say there's no God. Like, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that the God or the source is the nothing. You see? And that's why, even though my, my, my mind can't comprehend how we can be going there but we've already been there. It's an experience for growth. But as people, but as the source goes, it's already done it. Because you can't experience something without already ha it happened. Because it's like, it's like a computer game. I mean, people talk about the simulation. Well, it's like that. The computer game has to have all these different 
simulation things going on or created in order for you to experience it. Right? So how does this relate to the Kashic Records? Because people talk about it's got all the knowledge. Well, the knowledge was is in the source, which is the nothing. Deepak Chopra said the Akashic Records is the force that existed before the Big Bang. Yes, because the big you have to have a pathway to, to walk on in order to walk on it. Right? If it's covered up and there's no, or there's nothing there, you can't can't move. So it has to be created. It has to already exist. It means that the nothing, the source nothing, is the Akashic Records, is the beginning and end. Holds all knowledge, and it has to be an infinite knowledge. Now, our human, I don't, my brain talks, I talk about infinity, but I don't really understand it. Because I've been programmed in this, in this reality of, you know, everything ending, start and an ending. But if you're dealing with a nothingness, it can never end, you see. You see, it means that the love that exists, the infinite love that people talk about, is forever. We, we struggle with that because of the concept of that we perceive that everything has to begin and end. You see? So it's forever. It's a forever Akashic Records. The point of our lives is we're experiencing a life as an individual, not as not as the infinity. I'm go I've been going through a spiritual awakening process for just under ten years. I had an unexpected spiritual awakening at the age of twenty four. And I'm on the process on that awakening you're realizing that you're actually the source. Having an experience called Sean. You see? That Sean essentially died at the age of twenty four. I believe that when I had my spiritual awakening, that I had a soul switch. I've believed that for years. I Because instantly I felt different. All in a moment, in a flash. And I think that I had a soul switch. Even my mother has said this. Uh, and if that's your own mother, then it might, might be true. I believe I had a soul switch. And I think that Sean died. And that Sean was removed. And that... This, it was a soul switch and if you had a soul switch and uh, you would take on that memories of the person now I'm not getting sidetracked here this is important because this is relation into this, this path we're all going through an awakening so the soul switching thing would be needed and, and essentially that is what a spiritual awakening is it is a soul switch right you've now it's the, like Eckhart Tolle calls it the light of consciousness. That person now has been... Like Eckhart Tolle says that the person gets obliterated by the light of consciousness. I would call that a soul switch. But this, but the, this, but the reason that, that had to happen was because it's all to do with this talk, the Akashic Records. Uh, we, are, we are awakening because we're returning to what we are. And that's ultimately what the systems try to stop. This is, this is not a physical war, this is a spiritual war. It's a war on consciousness, a war on children. And uh, that's ultimately what it's all about, you know? Uh, and that's why they have to ban things. If you heard that sneeze, that's my dog. <clears throat> But, uh, yeah, and that's ultimately what's going on, a mass spiritual awakening. But uh, back to the Akashic Records, the Akashic Records is that moment you have. Say you look at someone and you have empathy, you, you feel you understand their emotion. That's, you're tapping into that Akashic field at that moment. It's... And when you can, see, and when you start tapping into it all the time, or nearly all the time, you start to be, you you start to 
Because some people say that you were only 15-20% our soul. Once you start to tap into this more and more, you're tapping into more parts of your soul, more, more parts of your being. You know, uh, when someone creates something, when someone writes a song, when someone creates something new, they're not actually creating something new, they're creating something in already, that already exists in the Akashic Records. Steve Jobs created the iPhone from uh, a daydream. Like a vision type thing uh, during the day. So that's ultimately what the Akashic Record is, and we're always doing it, but not calling it that. You know, it's not actually there is no physical book because nothing is physical. It's not. A, it's, it's it's when people say things in the spiritual community about Akashic Records being a book. That's symbolic. You've got to, God talks to us symbolically. It's the same with the third eye. Uh, when your third eye starts to awaken, God shows you things symbolically. That's why people go nuts sometimes when they take someone like acid. It's not the acid, it's because the, the, the third eye, they don't know what they're seeing. So some people go nuts. Alan Watts once said that people go nuts from spiritual awakening because my spiritual awakening was gradual and I was being led through it and I was being shown step by step and it's all about seeing seeing things symbolically that's the only way God can speak to you but God like I say is just the source there's nothing that is, that is the beginning and end and it means that everything is merely a dream and all the dreams are within the Akashic field and it's an infinite dreams and that's hard to get your head around because we're we're programmed to to think that everything must end, and it and it just is. It's actually a situation where it just is. It's 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 in Buddhism. I think it's called isness. There's a thing called isness, and that's where just things happen for no reason. You see, it just. We're so dead set on giving things that, oh, it has to have passed to mean this, but sometimes things are just random and they don't mean a thing. And it's just the present moment manifesting things for no reason. Sometimes that's the way it is. But back to the Akashic Records, you know, that's. Uh, this nothingness is is what holds it all, but it's an infinite field. That's why it has to be random, because there's too much information to get through. <laughs> so it has to randomly do it, you see. And that's why things like Law of Attraction sinks in well, because... Uh, it makes sense that what you feel you're attracted, that's better. Then just because you could never get through infinity, could you? You could never get. Th you can never get through infinity. So that's why it's random. But when you start to meditate on the present moment, you you then tap into the akashic field. And I'm just going to leave it there. For latest updates and talks and news and research and songs, I also sing songs as well. You can visit my website at www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you.